Welcome to Ankara, the capital city of Turkey. Today we're going to be exploring, seeing some famous monuments in the city and taking you with us. We're going to try and find a taxi to get to like the center of the city because I think it's quite a distance. Hello. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. We just arrived at Ant Antkuba, I think that's how you say it. There's a lot of security actually. Yeah, a lot of security. Put our bags through it. So we just had a funny thing at security. They wouldn't let me take my big bag, which is not really that big. And all it had in was a camera and a jumper. So I took my camera out. But I've got my little one. Here. You got your little so one, but it's just weird. I don't understand it. But we're just walking up to Ant Kibar now. And it looks like, I think it's actually quite a modern like building, um, but it kind of looks like that one in Athens, like the Acropolis or something. So we've just arrived at the Ant Kibar. Look at that. Wow. It's so cool. And it's so like clean and smooth. And I'm not sure when it's built, but we're going to try and find out. So I read about the changing of guards, like in Buckingham Palace, but here in Turkey. Wow, so we just experienced the changing of guards in Turkey's capital city. I think we were quite lucky there because I don't think it happens very often, but no. it was very exciting. Everyone was rushing. Everyone was rushing to see it and they were just shouting. I don't know what they were saying. Maybe someone can translate it, but it was so cool, wasn't it? It was really powerful. They're actually still <laughs> over there doing it, I think, finishing the change, but yeah, it's like Buckingham Palace, but here in yeah. Turkey. Seeing the march at the steps, it looks so like magnificent. On yeah, <laughs> and they were like so in time and just shouting. It was a bit intimidating. Yeah. So like in the UK, it's like these are the guards and that's what they were changing earlier. And we're going to go inside here now. It looks like a cool guy keeping that straight face. So this place was built as a resting place for the second president of Turkey, I believe. And I think it was completed in 1953, but it looks so new. They must clean it a lot, surely. <laughs> We're not sure what that is. It might have been the national anthem or maybe a respect to the um, president, former president. The former president felt very patriotic because everyone yeah. froze and we're like oh we better stop we better stop we can't be the only ones moving here yeah if anyone knows what that is let us know yeah it'd be interesting to know so after going in the actor bar again i'm probably saying that wrong we're going to head to the city center now and just like, kind of explore and see what's about so i think we're heading into the center of town now there's a mosque here which looks really beautiful it really does <laughs> I like how the mosque in kind of every country we've been to kind of differ a little bit don't they yeah they're very grand here like palaces yeah they almost look yeah big palaces one selling some bits some people i don't know what's going on there but it's a big truck so I think we're in the middle of Ankara now. We're in like a big square. It's kind of similar to like Times Square or Piccadilly, Piccadilly Circus. Circus. <laughs> it's crazy, There's like loads of people, loads of like advertising and shops, people running everywhere, doing loads of stuff. Looks quite cool. Seems very busy. Lots of security. They do seem very on their security here in Turkey, like even going into bus stations, train stations, even in like shops and monuments, you've got a lot of security, which is, I guess is good, always good to be safe. But yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yes, two. Two. Yeah. Two. Well, Thank you. I, I quite like a tea, actually. English? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, what's your name? Sorry? How are you? Good. English, good. yes, good. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> One. Oh. Okay, two. How are you? How much? On besh. On besh. On besh. Okay. <laughs> On besh. It's okay. It's okay for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So that guy just came up to us and gave us two Turkish teas for six or um, ombesh? Ombesh. Ombesh, which is apparently six. So I think they're three each, three lira each. It's super cheap and I just gave him a 20. Um, but yeah, little tea and people watch in the square, which is quite nice. 
He put two sugars in each, so it might be quite sugary, but we, ah, that's all right. You know, a bit of sweetness doesn't hurt anyone, does it? So we're gonna head into this big shopping center now. The difference between here is that there's not actually many international brands. I don't want to get run over by a car. Slow car. Sorry, there's not as many international brands. There's like Burger King and McDonald's, but apart from that, there's not that many. So yeah, it's just a bit different. They've got a lot of Turkish brands themselves. And then you see Burger King, which defeats the point of that comment. <laughs> So we're in a Turkish mall. How does it differ? I don't know, it's quite similar to any other mall really. Yes. <laughs> we are crossing with the crowd like that crossing in Japan, the Shinzen or I don't know, something like that. There's so many people. We're gonna tr attempt to go on the metro, but this could go badly because nothing is in English. That's one of the things about um, Ankara and like the non-touristy places in Turkey. Like no one speaks English or very, very, very little, little so. bit of English. But we get by. But we get by, you know, sign language, Google Translate. Luckily, I've got a Turkish SIM. So yeah, let's go in the metro and give this a go. Hello, we want to go here. Um, two plus. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. We're trying to find Millie Cook's pain on here, but it might be the wrong way. I think right, we should try that one. <laughs> oh, there you go. P2. P2. So that only cost 8 lira each to get the tube. There's only a couple of stops, but that's a pretty good price for a metro. And a great way to get around the city if you are coming to Ankara. It was actually a lot easier than we thought as well. Yeah, once we spoke to someone, we just showed them the location on the map of where we were going, and it was easy. We didn't really need any Turkish. So we are now back in the neighborhood and kind of street that we are staying in and we're going to show you where we're staying our hostel because it's really good value it's only costing us like 16 pounds for the two of us yeah which is amazing for somewhere like turkey welcome to our hostel oh then break the door so this is our room and it's 16 pounds a night so like eight pounds each and it's really spacious and really good value. It's much better than where we stayed in Istanbul because we have so much more room and we also have a lovely private bathroom and a nice shower. So we've actually had a really good day exploring Ankara. I think we've been pleasantly surprised about the city and we, we didn't really know what to expect, but we've really enjoyed ourselves today. Yeah, because Ankara is not really known as a touristy place. Like not many people speak English. We didn't really see any tourists apart from that. And kebab or however you pronounce it we're never going to get these turkish sayings but um yeah it was really really good i hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to our channel because we've got so many more turkish videos coming for you and then on to other parts of asia which is going to be really exciting so see you then bye, bye.